I have a technology that will help your doctor find the right treatment for you if you ever get cancer. On average, every third person will be diagnosed with cancer. If you have a look around you, you'll notice that's really many of us. And although there are 200 cancer drugs available, depending on your cancer, there's only going to be a few. We also know that of these few drugs, not everyone is going to respond to them. So how will you know whether your treatment is actually going to work? The verb sang, the drugs don't work, they just make you worse. This is true in half of the cases. The other half may very well benefit from the treatment, but 10 years later still get side effects, such as heart failure. I want to prove the verb wrong, at least when it comes to cancer drugs. And if you ever get cancer, I hope I will find you the right treatment. To start with, cells signal to survive. So when we look at the cancer, we normally focus on the cancer cells. Then we try to de uh, define which signals they use, and then we target with a drug. So you can think of this as being the passenger on the metro. You want to get from point A to B. But the metro stops, and you're stuck. This is the way we treat cancer today. In reality, however, the cancer is much more complex. It consists of several different kinds of cells. These cells communicate with each other. So you end up having something that looks like the Tokyo Metro. If you treat Tokyo Metro the same way as you treat Helsinki, we all know this. This is not going to work. You will have many ways to go around it. So what I want to do is, when you get a cancer, I want a piece of your tumor. I want to separate this into single cells and color them according to which type they are. Then I want to put them back together for microtumors, and this I use with something called microfluidics. The method gives me 1,500 microtumors in a second. I then will use these microtumors to test all available drugs. I do this on a test plate, so I will end up having one drug in one well. Three days later, I can read which drug will be the efficient one for you. This we can do for almost all patients. So, in the end, I might have found that lung cancer treatment that will work on your prostate cancer. Thank you, Sandra. That subway thing made me feel like I understand a thing or two about medicine. I think our audience did too. Um, so, we have a question from Johanna Ivanska. Go ahead. Thank you, Sandra. That was exciting. So, a lot of the tumor biology is based on the architecture of the tumor, and a lot of the responses to the drugs are also based on that architecture. In your system, you lose the architecture. Would you like to comment on how much that will limit your application? Thank you for a nice question. Um, that will obviously limit my application very much in the beginning, but as this is a new approach, I will focus to, at first, just look, can I even get any better results than we do today with the traditional methods? So this is in the start phase, and I will have to think of that then later on. Thank you, Johanna. Thank you, Sandra.